Turning our attention now to the ASX, here's Matt Burney and Bulls and Bears with the latest public company views and interviews. Welcome to Bulls and Bears, brought to you today by Castle Minerals, ASX code CDT. I'm Matt Burney and I'm joined now by the Managing Director of Castle Minerals, Steve Stone. Hi Steve. Hi Matt. Okay, so Castle Minerals is set to kick off a follow-up drill campaign at its Kapali Gold Project in Ghana to extend the mineralisation at a slew of exciting looking prospects after initial exploration returns some impressive hits. The company is also buying several new targets within the tenement area following analysis of geophysical data as it looks at the possibility of maybe establishing a new West African gold exploration camp that will complement its Kambale graphite project also in Ghana. All right, Steve, we'll get into that drill campaign in a minute. But firstly, what are some of the better drill hits at this project to date that you're looking to follow up on? Matt, we've got some fantastic hits. 22 metres at 2.85. That was from 87 metres. 7 metres at 6.03 from 90 metres. We've got a um, a near surface one, 16 metres at two, 3.23 from 9 metres and a lot more like that. Mm, OK, well tell me about some of the drill targets for this new campaign. Where are you going to drill and why? Well, the main focus will be the Kapali deposit itself. We've already drilled that out over about 850 metres. We know it goes to a depth of 100 metres, so we want to extend that and see where that goes. And then away from that to the north, we've got another project called Bundi. Um, very similar, got some really... Good numbers there, two metres at nine, six at 3.32, all very shallow. And then, as you mentioned, the geophysics that we've been doing has thrown up a whole bag of new targets, all of which we are very keen to test. So a lot lot of work to do in, in this area, which we actually think has the makings of a new West African mining camp. Mm, okay, now I can see from your cross sections you appear to have discovered two additional pretty shallow mineralised loads to the west of that main Kapali load that I, I guess otherwise might represent expensive dead dirt to move in any open pit scenario. If they check out, could they potentially form part of an open pit with that main load or are they too far away? No, they definitely could be um, form part of a pit, Matt, and we've got some holes um, focused around those because we think they will probably plunge down onto... Uh, the other section, and so we think that's a very valuable target to pursue. Now, they look a bit closer to surface to me. How far down do they start? Oh, they start just below the cover, so just a matter of 10, 10 metres down, or even less than that. Very briefly, what's the broader geological region like around this project? Are there any decent discoveries up there? What's unusual, what's unique about this area is there's two greenstone belts converge here and three major structures. All of those host major West African gold deposits, so we're in really, really good fertile um, Territory. And the fact that they all converge here is, is really, really special. And that's what's really getting us excited. We think we're onto mm. something that quite, could be quite significant. Steve Stone from Castle Minerals, thanks for joining me on Bulls and Bears. And remember, we're only here to give you information, not advice, which you should, of course, seek independently. I'm Matt Burney, and this is Bulls and Bears. For more public company interviews, go to the Money page on the 6PR, 2GB, 3AW and 4BC websites and click the Public Companies tab.